What are the best snacks for climbing Kilimanjaro? Staying properly fueled is an important part of any physical activity. And when it comes to hiking at elevation, our bodies use more calories than regular daily activities. So we want to make sure that we're getting everything we need to stay energized while climbing Kilimanjaro. In this video, I'll discuss the role of snacks on the mountain and what you should and should not bring on your expedition. Do I need to bring snacks for Kilimanjaro? On our climbs, we provide all the food you need. Our clients are fed three hot meals a day. These meals include a mix of macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fat, but are intentionally heavy on carbohydrates, the preferred energy source at altitude. Additionally, we serve afternoon snacks consisting of peanuts, popcorn, cookies, fries, and more. So you don't need to supplement with personal snacks. It's optional, but we do think it's a good idea to have at least a few familiar treats from home. They can provide you with some extra calories and a pick-me-up on the trail. What kind of snacks are the best? There really is no best snack. It's whatever you would want to eat on the mountain, which is a personal choice. I recommend bringing a variety of snacks. That way, you can eat what appeals to you at that moment. Repeated flavors can become unappetizing, especially on a mountain that can cause loss of appetite and nausea, while variety makes everything taste better. If you pack the same things to eat every day, you might be looking into your goodie bag and hating all the options. So it's not prudent to bring 12 power bars or three pounds of trail mix. Snacks can be divided into five categories. In my opinion, you can maximize your performance and enjoyment on Kilimanjaro by bringing snacks from all five categories. Meal replacements. Meal replacement snacks include protein bars, energy bars, granola bars, and meal replacement or protein powders. Bringing snacks that can serve as a meal replacement can come in handy on a few occasions. Perhaps you experienced nausea when meals were being served and skipped eating. You can eat your meal replacement when you feel better, or if for some reason you find the hot meal unappetizing or lacking in calories or protein or whatever, you can eat your meal replacement instead or in addition to the hot meal. Salty snacks. Salty snacks include things like trail mix, nuts, pretzels, jerky, and potato chips. You will crave salty foods due to losing sodium from sweat. Bring some of these snacks to replace salt. Salt also contains electrolytes like magnesium, calcium, and potassium. So it does more than just replace sodium. Sweet snacks. Sweet snacks include hard candy, chocolate, and dried fruit. Sweet snacks are great for a midday treat and after dinner. Sugar is known to boost mood and provide a temporary high through the release of endorphins. Energy snacks. Energy snacks consist of sport gels, energy gels, and things like sport beans, cliff blocks, or goo chews. These snacks are filled with sugars and sometimes caffeine to provide a quick burst of energy. Most energy gels have no fat, fiber, or protein, so they can be digested quickly. Electrolytes. This really isn't a snack, but a supplement. Electrolytes can be consumed through Gatorade packets, noon tablets, and goo hydration tablets. These products are designed to replenish electrolytes lost during exercise, such as potassium, calcium, magnesium, and sodium. I like to take one serving of electrolytes each evening to help recovery. My number one tip for bringing snacks is to take items that you love eating at home, a comfort food. There are healthier choices like almonds and dried mangoes. There are more indulgent items like M&Ms and gummy bears. All are fine and have their roles on Kilimanjaro. But if you have to decide between high nutritional value or great taste, my vote is for great taste. The food we serve will take care of your nutritional needs. Therefore, it's more important that you find a snack appetizing at altitude than for it to be good for you. How many snacks should I bring? Since snacks aren't absolutely necessary, you can bring zero. If you do decide to bring them, Limit the quantity of meal replacements, salty snacks, and sweet snacks to 1 to 1.5 per day on the mountain. Do not bring 3 or 4 of these types of snacks per day. It is far too much for one person to consume along with the regular meals. People who do this end up with a big bag of leftover snacks. 
for energy snacks and electrolytes, we recommend one or two servings per day each. For example, on an eight day Lamosio climb, take a maximum of eight to 12 total meal replacements, salty snacks and sweet snacks, eight to 16 energy snacks, and eight to 16 servings of electrolytes. You can bring extra snacks if you intend to share them with your fellow climbers, guides, and porters. When I climb with a group of friends, I like to bring large bags of a few items just for sharing. And if some members in your group do the same, then together you'll have a supply of assorted snacks that can be rationed throughout the climb. It's fun to see just how much joy a bag of gummy bears brings when you're tired after a long day of hiking. For certain routes, you will have the opportunity to buy last minute snacks on the way to the trailhead. The vehicle will stop for a bathroom break where there is a convenience store. This is a chance to buy and try local items. Are there any snacks I shouldn't bring? Though our climbs are fully supported, meaning that our porters will carry your excess belongings, we do ask that you be respectful of what you ask them to carry. Anything that you would not carry yourself on a backpacking trip is probably not a good snack for climbing Kilimanjaro either. Avoid foods that are bulky, such as bagels and popcorn. Avoid foods that spoil, such as prepared foods. Avoid foods that are heavy, such as fresh fruit, drinks, and other liquids. Avoid foods that are stored in breakable or leaky containers, such as glass containers and non-resealable bags. Avoid foods that produce too much waste, such as canned foods. Strive for snacks that are lightweight, calorie dense, low volume, varied in flavor and texture, provide carbs, and are easy to eat. These qualities generally make the best snacks for climbing Kilimanjaro. I'm Kevin with Ultimate Kilimanjaro. Please visit our website for more information on climbing Kilimanjaro and like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you at the summit.